Turk here at the Monasterio. So we've actually got one of the monks' rooms from the 16th century, which obviously they've redone now, and it's gorgeous. Look at the little detailing around the doorway. It's got a lovely little bathroom here, which is very nice, lots of nice products. And then this is really cute, little balcony that goes out onto the courtyard. Look at that, got little chairs. They're lovely. A water fountain there. So pretty. So we decided to come shopping on our first day in Peru and get Peruvian up <laughs> with some of these little bits and bobs. We've discovered this amazing shop. Look at this. Whole wall of crazy alpacas. <gasps> oh, what's going on? No, it's not really. It's him. <laughs> Found this really cute little place called La Rabona. Hi! All these yummy, they've got vegan cookies, energy bites. As on, on toast, it seems. Come on. Yeah, I got them. Banana cake. Okay, how, how much is it? And then all these lovely oh, things. It's so cute in here. Very trendy. So we're just in the main square here in the middle of Cusco. It's really beautiful. The architecture is quite interesting. We've got old school Spanish, Venetian, Baroque. There's like all sorts of things going on. It's, it's quite eclectic. But the main thing I'd like to mention about the square is that um, we're at such a high altitude. I'm suffering a little bit with quite like a mega headache. Um, and apparently they said it takes a little bit of time to get used to. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna have a little wander and try and acclimatize a bit. imagine a more perfect setting for having breakfast we're in the kind of courtyard of the monastery now there's monk monastery music going on in the background and the sun is out this hotel is blissful We spotted our first friend on the trek up Sasquatcha. <laughs> it's quite a hike actually. Look, we've hiked up all the way from the bottom down there already. And now we're up here. Who's our little friend? There she is. Hi there. It's so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fab this museum is. It's basically someone's house, isn't it? I love the music. So these ancient fortified ruins but just as we got to the top we got told it was like 140 soles to get in but we only have 130 <laughs> there's no cash point here and they only take cash so we've got a hike all the way back down if you want to come back <laughs> so this is Peru's version of Christ the Redeemer it's a little bit smaller but it's still lovely this is Cristo Blanco and being informed it's lovely So we've 
had two lovely days exploring Cusco, staying at the Monasterio, which has been blissful and amazing. Um, next stop, we're actually just heading next door to Belmont's more spa-like spa hotel, the one with the swimming pool and amazing spa treatments. And we're gonna have a lovely chill out day before heading on to Machu Picchu tomorrow. So here we go. Palacio Nazarenas in Cusco. This room is sick. Let me show you around. This is stunning. So this is actually um, an old women's um, nunnery. So all the furniture's from back in the 1500s. How beautiful is this? We've got a little secret drawer for the hair dryer in there. We've got loads of lovely natural organic products. And then this huge walk-in shower with big rain head there and a little seat and then this, which I will be getting into later. <laughs> I'm so excited about this room. Right, over to, ta-da, the little kitchen area here. So everything in this bar here is freebies, totally, is all included in the room. So we've got a little fridge full of drinks, lots of snackies, and then we've got some ingredients for Pisco Sours. So one of their um, sommeliers is going to come and make us some Pisco Sours in a minute. Coming through to some yummy nibbles, Peruvian cheese. And then this lovely, huge TV is great for watching from the living room over there. Or if you're in bed, you can give it a quick swivel. <laughs> I watch it from bed, and even better, if you don't want, if it's an eyesore and you don't want to see it, you do this. How awesome is that? Ah. And I might be breaking it as we speak, <laughs> but you get the point. So, one of the key features of this room, which makes this hotel even better, is that we're at such high altitude here, it's quite difficult to breathe. So the hotel actually pumps in oxygen into your room, which is amazing. So I'm feeling better already because I've been suffering a bit with altitude sickness. And then these gorgeous little gems on this beautiful trunk. Um, these are, this is the kind of scented pillow menu. So each one smells different. This one's lavender, and I think we've got jasmine, so I'm gonna try those out later tonight. And then, come with me. Ta-da! To the balcony. Nice seating area. There's the pool down there. An amazing view of Cusco going up into the mountains. Yay! Thank you, Belle Wand. I love it! <laughs> so we're in our bedroom and one of the butlers has come to help us create some Pisco Sours. Lemon juice. Please, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! Verdict. It's not, it doesn't taste too strong. Oh, it's delicious! It's not as alcoholic tasting as I thought it was going to be. And it's yeah. quite lemony. It's almost like a, a fizzy, a nice fizzy drink. Mm. Mm, that's really nice. Mm. Down to Machu Picchu, 
they started in Cusco, which is at around 3,400 metres, and then Machu Picchu is more like 2,400, so we're going down into the valley. Um, but the scenery is going to change. At the moment, it's quite agricultural, lots of farming, and beautiful mountains in the background. And then when we get to Machu Picchu, it's going to be more jungle and valley. So, quite excited. It's quite a lovely, chill drive as well. We've got lunch, and then a bit of music in the observation carriage. Um, Machu Picchu guys, here it is in the background. It's so stunning, I'm so excited to be here. It's been on my bucket list for years, it's just beautiful. hundred llamas here. We can't go that way. Is this a joke? There's <laughs> llamas everywhere. <laughs> I'm surrounded. There's hundreds. last day here in Peru. It has been the most amazing trip. I've literally, I'm not even kidding, I've ever been on. I love Peru so much. It's so awesome and I highly recommend it to anyone. So big, big thank you to Belmond for sorting out such an awesome trip. Um, and next stop is London. So see you later guys. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs>